It's the Joe Padula Show, Clarksville's conversation. Absolutely. Not even a week following the election. Pfizer, it's a chemical company, medical company, they, uh, they announced coronavirus, their vaccine, is 90% effective. Woo! <laughs> so, is COVID-19 finally over? Let's go over it all now on the Joe Padula Show. Absolutely. Make sure to subscribe, click like, leave your comments, and definitely help us out and share this video now. All right? Appreciate it. Bay, 90% effective. <laughs> Markets exploded with this news today. I'm talking about we were in levels of uh, pre-COVID mm-hmm. COVID days for, uh, for markets. Yeah, Dow, I mean, when I, when I looked at it earlier today, it was up 1,200 points. Ended up for the day up uh, 834. It's good for uh, 401ks. But yeah, so uh, I thought this was this was quite interesting that it was following the election. Bay, I believe uh, a lot of us said this on the show. But yeah, they, uh, they, they announced today Pfizer. Early analysis of its coronavirus uh, vaccine trial suggested, okay suggested that uh, that the vaccine was uh, robustly effective in preventing COVID-19. Yep, a promising development as the, uh, as I don't know, the world has been awaiting this moment anxiously. Remember Russia said they had the, they had their COVID-19 vaccine? Yeah. Turned out to be just be vodka. <laughs> it was just, they were just shooting vodka in. So, uh, I mean, what's the numbers for Russia? I mean, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, even, I never hear about Russia and their coronavirus numbers, so it must be working. Well, they, well, in China they have zero deaths now. So uh, yeah, I, I love their reporting. Yeah. All right, so vaccine coming out. Bay, what do you make about the timing of the vaccine? <laughs> Convenient. Convenient. <laughs> Convenient. You think they could have said something uh, before uh, the election day? Oh, they could have. They could have? Yeah. Right? Like maybe, hey, 89%. <laughs> Just hold on. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, there, there are those theories going around that uh, that that these uh, big big med companies, okay, <laughs> that they are... Uh, the biggest drug dealers in the world. The biggest mm-hmm. drug dealers yeah, in the world. Of course. And especially since uh, Trump signed the executive order a couple of week, uh, a couple months ago, actually going after them to make an... Uh, uh, much more affordable for the pills, and especially with the EpiPens and, mm-hmm. and the whole bit. Uh, not big fans of uh, of Trump, but uh, intern Shane, uh, as a uh, okay, you're a young guy, all right. You're pretty healthy, right? Yes, sir. Here, flex, flex those arms like this. Yeah, like that. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get into the shot. Yeah, good, good. So, uh, but still, uh, COVID nineteen still concerns you, and uh, are you scared of it? Nope. No, you're not. Nope. Okay, good. Now, what about a vaccine coming? Would you take a vaccine? Honestly, I'd rather build up my immune system over it because, like, uh, I'm. For one thing, I'm kind of suspicious about this whole vaccine thing because, like, what, uh, like what Bay was saying, they could have brought something of it, brought something of it up before the yeah. election, right? But they haven't. So making and- it following the election so close, it does make it a little suspicious. Interesting. Yeah, it's, I think it's too much of a coincidence. And honestly, like I said, even if it is a vaccine, what you what a lot of people tend to not understand is that viruses, they can mutate. Okay, go yeah. on. They can mutate. Like uh, sometimes uh, like if a virus mutates, then that would make the vaccine useless. Okay, because they would have to uh, make a, a vaccine for that, that new virus that mutated off well, of the original. Guess what? Yeah, it would adapt to it. You got corona. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> the vaccine, you are actually literally putting corona into your body to fight it off. Yeah. Uh, JD, uh, vaccine, are you yay or nay? Uh, I might have to say nay. Nay, nay. You, you don't want to do a vaccine? No, because um, I almost feel like they're going to like put out a mandate, especially if Joe Biden you know, gets in. This is my personal opinion. Okay. You know, he's already said that he would mandate a nationwide um, mask. mask mandate. Right, yeah. And he would try. Believe you me, he would try. He would try, but he's already. He was already hinting at it earlier this morning. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I haven't got it. I haven't gotten coronavirus. Um, I think Ron here had it back in February, but 
There well, was, I, I was think no I had it back in February or January also. Yeah. Boy. It was, <laughs> right. For me to be forced, for me to be forced to uh, take a vaccine or even the notion, um, that makes me not even want to take it, period. Yeah. So, I mean, that's my two cents. You know, that is interesting you bring that up because uh, you, you take the mask mandate. Uh, and uh, here we are. We're broadcasting out of Clarksville, Tennessee, okay? Uh, Montgomery County, a city on the rise, by the way. Uh mm-hmm. 250,000 uh, people will be our next census, which is amazing. That's huge. But uh, active cases currently right now in Montgomery County, this is according to the Tennessee Department of Health. Let me pull up this stat. As of right now, Montgomery County, we have active cases of COVID, 587, okay? 587 uh, divided into our... Most recent census, which is lowballing at 215,000 people, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, you're looking at carry the two dots, okay? That is less than 1% of the population that we have an emergency order after. 0.24% of the population active COVID, and there is an emergency order signed by the mayor, uh, the county mayor, saying you have to wear a mask because of this emergency. Is 0.24% of the population affected with COVID an emergency? Ron, your thoughts? Well, I think I had COVID back in February. When I went to the emergency room, they didn't have the COVID test then. Uh Uh-huh. And they tell you, well, you got influenza B with severe respiratory issues. Well, why don't they give us the numbers for flu? Why don't they give us the numbers for how many people die from the flu? And why don't they compare those numbers to COVID? I, I can't find those numbers. Mm-hmm. I can't find the <laughs> flu numbers. And, and, How convenient. If you're dying more from the flu, where's the emergency for that? And I'm not I'm not knocking COVID. I'm not downplaying it either. I, I just want the truth. People have died from COVID-19. Right. But why can't we have everything across the board? Right. right. And at the end of the day, those pharmaceutical companies get a chance to make a lot of money. So is it about integrity or is it about the wallet? Uh, I, I think, for me personally, it's about the death count. Okay? It's about the rate, the death rate, the death Ooh, count. Is that? It is very low. I mean, you have a survival rate that is, uh, again, you have a survival rate that is over 99%, especially certain age groups. Okay? Seriously. L- like intern Shaden said, boost that immune system. Get those friggin' vitamin Ds and vitamin Es and take some zinc. I'm, I'm not your doctor, but I'm just telling you, be healthier. And don't live off of fear from it. The, the stress alone. The stress alone. The, 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 the mm-hmm. thought of panic in your brain. That might be the smartest thing this dumb kid has ever said. Mm, don't be scared. I'm just kidding. Mm, don't be scared now. <laughs> I'm just busting your chops. No, bro. I know. But I know. it's true. I mean, it, and then on top of it, all right? Yeah, don't forget you got your rights. Amen. Force of, uh, you go into a store, uh, hey, put your mask on. They come out with this vaccine. It's just a hypothetical question. Hey, uh, did you get your vaccine? Where are your papers? Illegal. All right. <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> are the papers or not? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. The papier bitter. Oh, das is not Too hot good. Now. <laughs> <laughs> du hass. That's, yes. That's du hass. <laughs> du hass mich. Uh, I love that song. It's going to be our new national anthem if we don't watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing I'd be down for. Uh, Honestly, hey. me too. <laughs> Take care of each I, I can't wait. Uh, for Thanksgiving, I'm going to Jersey and New York to see family, right? I can't wait to see how they, how I react to their reactions on on my just going into stores. Are you driving up there? No, I'm flying. Oh, so you got to get your man. Yeah, but I got one with a hole in it. <laughs> right. For your cigars. For my cigars. <laughs> it's perfect for my cigars. <laughs> so it's going to be great. Oh, man. You know, I walk out to the plane. Oh, good, he's got a mask. Little do they know, it's got holes everywhere. <laughs> All right, I get to sip through it. I actually put, like... Peanuts in the mask, and I just put my tongue underneath the mask. Just slide them in. It's a nut carrier. It's like a ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Um, <laughs> hey, let us know what you think. Oh. Comment here mm. and definitely share this video. All right. Don't forget to clip, <laughs> subscribe, and like. Uh, boy. Uh, all right. It's the Joe Padula Show. Bada bing. Clarksville's conversation.